I'm making caramelized onions. Now recipes sometimes say that you can do this in about 10 minutes, but that's a lie. It normally takes 30 or 40 minutes really to get properly nice brown caramelized onions. So what's going on there? Why does it take so long? Well, the first thing that's gonna happen is when the onions go in the pan, the water inside the cells will evaporate and burst the cells. And that's gonna release all the sugars inside. Uh, in the onion, you've got these disaccharides, which are two, two sugar molecules together. They're gonna to break up into single sugar molecules, uh, which taste sweeter and will also react together to produce the range of caramelized flavors that we're looking for. But caramelization is really only one part of what's going on because you've also got in the onions amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. And when sugars react with amino acids, you get something called the Maillard reaction. And that's a, that's a very common thing that you'll see uh, in, in any kind of foods when they go brown, like um, the toast or the crust on a steak. How do we make these things go a bit more quickly? Uh, one thing is you can add a bit of um, bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate, baking soda. Um, if I just put a tiny bit of this in here, um, that's going to do two things. One is to break apart the cells because they're held together by pectin and that doesn't like being in, in the alkali. Um, but also the Maillard reaction is sensitive to pH and if you, you make it more alkaline, that's going to happen more quickly. The other thing is we can put a splash of water in here. What that's going to do is dissolve the, um, the brown bits that are stuck to the pan. Um, so we stop them from going too brown and uh, too bitter. And that means that we can just turn the heat up a bit and you use the water to kind of regulate the temperature and redistribute all the brown bits. So with all of these tricks, we can get to uh, nice brown caramelized onions in about 20 minutes.